Hey, what's up? Um, you know, for the most part, people don't really care. <laughs> but I, the question that I've probably gotten the most is exactly like how I pack beers. Um, so I'm actually packing up right now to go um, on a trail. And I thought that I would just show you guys exactly what I do for those people that have asked. Um, so this is my backpack. Uh, there's some things that I always keep in there. Uh, these days, you got to have like your mask. So I've got my cold fire brewing mask. Uh, I got a pen in here. You know, you might have to write a note, something like that. Um, I've got some hand sanitizer, which is like, uh, I don't actually have to use very often, but I've got my full like PPE on board. I've got a lighter, you know, in case I have to burn something. Pretty much always have a Snickers bar on board. Um, I might eat it, I might not, but it's nice to have at least kind of something. Uh, I've got this little multi-tool. Uh, that's come in handy a couple of times and I keep some explore with beer stickers because I might find a cool place to stick those so That's kind of the top part um, The big pocket is kind of the important um, part. Uh, oh, I keep this uh, I keep this um, uh, Tripod thing and it either sucks or I suck at using it But I just figure like if anybody ever questions what I'm doing um, I can just say like oh, I take pictures of beers and you know, I might, it gives me some street cred if I have a tripod, right? So <laughs> anyways, so at the bottom of the bag, I'd like to keep some padding, right? Cause you're gonna set the beers uh, down here. Um, so at the bottom of my bag, I keep these, uh, like these mountain bike gloves. Um, they're not bulky and they keep you warm and stuff like that. Um, and then also I have this Detroit lion scarf for some reason. Uh, it works great as padding at the bottom of the bag and can keep you really warm too. Um, so that's at the bottom, uh, as far as the beers, and actually I'll just run through the beers real quick too. So there, um, this is like a big two and a half gallon um, freezer bag. And I keep these like freezer packs in there. And uh, so this is like, this is a beer. Today I'm gonna like, that. the goal is to get a picture of this one. Um, I think I'm gonna have a really good spot to take a picture of this one, this field work. West Coast IPA, kind of a West Coast IPA guy you'll see here. Um, this is a Claim 52, so I might just drink this one, um, but I might find a good spot to take a picture of that one. Um, and then I've got this uh, Breakside, Rainbows and Unicorns. This is kind of just like, a, this is kind of a designated trail beer. Um, very, very good beer. I pretty much always have one of these or something from Pelican in my bag. This is our Dankest Hour uh, IPA. Love this one. Um, that is a trail beer. And then I have this one from Crux, um, an IPA I actually haven't tried before. So kind of excited to give that one a try. Um, so then you take the your bag and I put it in. And then I actually take like this, um, it's like a long john shirt. And I stuff it between the outside of the bag and the beers. And then I take my beanie. I'm like the, um, on like the North Face drinking, hiking team. And, <laughs> and I, uh, I set that on top. So then you've got like insulation all around. The beers aren't gonna rattle. Um, and it actually is gonna keep the beers cold for a surprisingly long time. And then if you wanna get crazy, uh, like you have to do in Oregon, you put your like rain layer on top of that. So anyways, so that's what I do. I'm actually kind of curious what other people do. I'm sure it's something similar to that. But uh, anyways, uh, just wanted to kind of share with you for those that have asked. Um, that's exactly how I do it. So cheers, you guys.